Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Ross from 3G again. Uh, coming back to show you uh, the second addition to my city. Uh, as you all will remember from my first video, uh, we explored my uh, Frank Lloyd Wright inspired home that I built first in my city. Uh, now we are on to the second addition to my city. Um, again, has a flank, Frank Lloyd Wright, excuse me, um, flair to it. Uh, this was built with the intention of uh, my buddy and fellow uh, 3G um, video contributor, uh, Brad. He's been in this world to explore with me uh, and help me build. And so we're going to enter his wing, his house, and show you some of the details. Let's go on in. Um, low ceilings uh, when you first walk in that's by design uh, there is um, more upstairs than downstairs but uh, the decorative block and everything a little bit more of a solid base than in my home uh, my home had a wood floor his has got a stone uh, so a little bit uh, sturdier um, kind of reflects the person that it was built for um, Sweet. Again, big screen TV. Brad, man, wish you were here to see this one right now. You have a big screen TV. I wish I could say that I planned it that way. Um, again, more upstairs and downstairs. Uh, I carried through a lot of the skylight motif from my home. I like, again, the natural light. As you can see, um, you can even look out from above. If somebody's trying to get into your place, I suppose you could maybe catch them in the act. Uh, after you walk out of your bedroom. Uh, here is the bedroom. It is the only bedroom in the house. Um, complete with bookshelf uh, styling, chest to leave things. And, oh, it appears uh, Brad has added his own two additions to the house. Uh, I guess he's got a couple trophies from walking through this world. Good for you, Brad. Um, next we go up and out. And as you can see, there is an observation deck, which I can you can see clearly over to uh, my place. Uh, please try to ignore some of the stuff in the background. We will get to those in uh, later videos. But what you're viewing here in the uh, through the glass panes is a um, crafting room. Uh, this is for meant to resemble and look like a greenhouse and um, does offer you an inside view into uh, the home slash bedroom from underneath but gives you an almost 360 view all the way around uh, kind of give you an idea it looks really cool at night especially uh, from the outside when it's not raining so much with the torches um, gives it that kind of flare uh, then you can come up to the roof where there used to be a a chimney I guess uh, that I've tried to create I'm not sure why that this level is here uh, it's not supposed to be it's supposed to allow more light than that in through um, so we're going to just tailor that back a little bit um, and there you go see it gives it a little bit better look um, when you see it and the house does if you go back down through uh, the way here and around you will see from the first video that this leads this door and walkway lead back in through the covered area into the guest bedroom of my house, my addition. Um, this is for, again, uh, meant more for fun, uh, not really, I guess, practical uh, survivalist measures being that that would keep nobody out of my place. That would be an extra way in. Uh, so again, here is the second addition to the uh, city and this is Brad's house